Welcome, welcome, welcome back. This go hard in the hit like that. What are your kids gonna say about you when they grow up? Are they gonna say you're aggressive, overbearing? Bro, I need you to put shoes on so we can go. Too nice? Are they gonna say you were there physically but not emotionally? I don't know if I can control what they say about me eventually, but I know in this season, they might hate me. But after two years of learning a tough lesson, I would say that I'm finally okay with it. What's up, Nyzai? What's up? How you feeling? Good. <laughs> what? I don't know why you're videoing. Why am I videoing? Because it's always my birthday. No. It's Ryan's birthday. Oh! Are you excited for your birthday tomorrow? Yes. It's somebody's birthday today. Oh my god. Alright. Anaya stands here. Oh, 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 Anaya are you excited? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? How come you didn't want to play hockey the first season? Well, I was going to, but I got embarrassed. So I thought that's what I was going to do every other game. Shot the puck. So I, at first I measured it. Then people thought I went. So I think one of the hard parts about being a father, right, is I don't know when to push you and when to let you push back so i think i didn't want you to quit on that day because i knew that it was going to be good for you if you kept going but you wanted to quit so i let you quit do you think i should have forced you yeah i think you should have forced me right now like if i'm doing something athletic and doing something on a bike or like wheels i kind of that i don't know how to do like if i have skateboarding lessons i don't want you to let me quit that I tried to hit the puck and then it didn't hit. It just went like, it just went here, and here. Uh, and then you gave up? that I didn't have, I didn't quit because I wish I ha went in a season where Theo started so that I could be almost as good as Theo. But I know that I will probably, I probably wouldn't have been as good as Theo because Theo was a bit, you know, better than me at the starting even though we didn't play hockey yet so I wish I didn't quit so that I would have more experience in hockey to today so I think one of the things that I uh struggle with being a dad I try not to compare you guys because you guys are on different playing levels and I try not to get you to compare yourself to him but sometimes it's really hard not to because I'm like, the only difference between you two is that, you know, you, you, you get embarrassed and then you stop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I think that I know that you're going to quit and I'm not trying to control you as a dad. I don't want to be too controlling. So I don't want to force you to do something. But at the same time, I know once you get past the embarrassment, you're going to have a lot of fun. So I want you to have a lot of fun. And the more stuff you can do, the more friends you can make, the more places you can go, you know what I'm saying? And the like, the more fun you guys will have together. Because if you guys are both skating together and both, both helping each other get better together, you're going to be better than everybody else because not everybody has a sibling that can play as good as you guys. Yeah. Did you feel like you were being left out? Did you feel like you were missing out on hockey because every week we were at playing, we were at hockey and all that stuff for Theo? Well, I started wanting to play hockey um, when Theo scored his first hat trick on this season, but not his last game. One of his other games, I like 
okay, I really want to play. I want to score against a goalie. I want to skate on that rink, and I want to learn how to skate. Okay, and so I remember the conversation. It's right here, actually, when you asked about, like, what tryouts were. Like, you were like, hey, this is the conversation. Watch. I don't know. Why you ask? Because me and Levi want to join the. You want to play? All right, Levi. Yeah, yes, we want to yes. join the league next year. Come on now. Oh, oh, oh. So we could be on Theo's team and win against these. Win against these people. Oh. Okay. Got it. You want to play too? You know how to roller skate? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey guys. Yay. Ah. Uh, Everybody right. buckle. Yep. I am trying out for hockey. I am excited. I just hope I don't embarrass myself in hockey again. Don't give up. Don't give up. I do care, but it's like you've got thick skin. Just go out there and do your best, man. Yeah. Let me get your gloves. You ready for this? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm going to walk in there with him. Next time we come here, can I get my own gear off? Oh, yeah, we're good. How's it feel to have your little brother? Kind of jealous. I want to be out there. But can we not focus on your jealousy and we focus on so what's happening? You got a try. comrade joining you. <laughs> yeah. Where is Ryan? He's over there in the white shirt. Number 22. So your first assessments, there were a couple moments where it looked like it was pretty hard, right? You were skating. Um, there was a couple moments where like even one moment where you were skating and you fell. Um, at that part, I I got embarrassed, but I got embarrassed. I was thinking about quitting, but I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do that again. I saw it, it looks fun, and I'm gonna keep going. And when everybody said, oh, I really started, I started, I really started sweating. That was like, I was like, oh no, what's gonna happen? Are they gonna make fun of me? I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna quit again. I'm gonna keep going. And they're gonna think that I'm bad, but uh, I'm just gonna teach them to not underestimate me. Does Ryan know how to skate backwards? Yeah, I think he might know. I think he might know how to skate backwards. He made it. <laughs> awesome. Brian said he had a good time. Yep. And I made it through it this time. <laughs> and I was really shocked that I made it through the transition with the uh, skating backwards. Uh-huh. And skating forward. What do you want for breakfast for your first game? I'll take an egg sandwich. Okay. And what do you want, Lily? Wait. Dad, is that a good Get down. Egg? Down. Down. Okay. Yeah, so 
So I'm helping Uriah practice all of the things he needs to be prepared for his game. Handling bad and good passes, good, giving good passes, making good shots, getting past defenders, being a good defender, yeah. and some of the um, players' moves that they do. You need to, you know what you need to do this morning is stretch is what you need to do. Dad. And you too. You need to stretch too. Dad. You Her back is straight. Bye, Theo. And we're going to Theo's and Mariah's chocolate babies. Hockey game. Why did you realize you were the one that moved it last? No, I didn't. Yeah, because it was right next to your keys on the buffet table. <laughs> that is not where I put it. Oh, gosh. Are you done? I just got started. I know. <laughs> Jesus gracious. Mom. I'm like the more sleep you get, the more like annoying you are. Dad. <laughs> the more on it I am. The more annoying you are. Dad. It's like you have less time to play games when you're tired. Dad. <laughs> yes? Nobody's playing. Wait, wait, see, you and Maya are doing the, um, the, the, um, stretch. You fart it. Oh, yeah. That's gross. That's disturbing. You literally said, sorry, Raya. Why you just get up, bro? Why you just get up and move? Well, I mean, I didn't want to interrupt my session. And I didn't know that he was going to do it. He said, sorry, Raya. And I was like, why? And then he just farted. That's gross, bro. You had time. You had enough time to go out right outside, out the door. You were standing right next to the door. Where's the other piece to this? But dad, I was doing good. I didn't want to mess up my progress. Um, and I ain't Uzi. I'm actually excited for them to start boxing. Don't have it. Wait, we're gonna start boxing? I think you should. I love boxing. First I gotta get some boxing gloves. bag and go over there the last thing you need on is your helmet okay
Gotta hurry up, Rybo. Okay. Hey guys, I'm at my brother's hockey game. I'm going to video them. And um, it's gonna be really cool. Uh, we're not there yet. We're not to the hockey rink yet. But we'll get there. Are you excited, Ben? Season. I mean, you got two kids playing the same sport on the same team, so that means technically that's less to do. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. I hope it just, I think my main concern I'm is sorry. the competitiveness of the individuals. Like protecting hearts and minds. How do you feel? Is that even on? Yeah, it's on. How do you feel? I feel good. <laughs> Are you ready for this game? Obviously. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> Wait, why are you guys all scared? I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm not scared. Okay, look. You got five. Or you got six. Brothers are going to be one of them. Tomorrow's my birthday. Okay, that's cool. Six. Do you feel good doing this game? Yes. Okay. I don't know what to do. Oh. Hey, Mom, this is mine now. Look. No, Mom, look. Man, you need a hush up. Just put on a... Hurry up, dog. What's going on with you, dog? You move slow. Dad. But... You like the game. It's actually fun, right? Yeah. I do like the game. It is really fun. I was hoping to be on Coach Kevin's team, and I got on Coach Kevin's team, so I'm I'm really excited. Uh, coach Kevin's really fun, and I'm glad to have him as my coach. Okay, awesome. Would you describe yourself as a quitter? Uh, yes, sometimes. But do you try again? Yes, I try again. And so you're not a quitter. If 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 you were a quitter, then you would never try again. I guess so. So I'm going to ask you this again. Would you describe yourself as a quitter? Not really. No. You can't be a quitter if you're still working. Okay. I guess so. Yeah. Okay, now back to the final question. What can I do better to be a better father in this season? Of life? Yeah. Um, to encourage me to not quit. For those of you that want to be gentle parents or intentional parents, don't mistake that for being soft. There is a point where I have allowed Uriah to make decisions for himself because I don't want him to feel forced, but I've always regretted it. For those of you that have been on this channel for a while, you know it was a fight to teach Uriah how to ride a bike, um, behind the scenes, teaching him how to tie a shoe. Remember the first time he scooped the poop? That was a thing. Uh, it was just so much that I just... Sometimes I allow Raya to just make the decision to say, no, I don't want to do that. There's so many different examples where I wish that I didn't and I just made him do it because I said so. Knowing that my said so is, hey, one day you're going to appreciate me for this. And now we're on the other side of hockey where he feels like he's not worthy enough to play. Like he feels like he has to do a lot of makeup work, which he does. He's got a lot of ground to cover. But I, I, I refuse to make that mistake again. Even today, as we were talking, he was saying how he really doesn't want to box that much. But I'm like, bro, if you're going to play hockey, you've got to learn how to box. And so does your brother. So unfortunately, you will be doing everything that I need you to do in order to be great at what you think you want to do. This is another reason why I think that younger kids always get the best version of their parents because they learn the lessons with the older kids like i don't know if i'm gonna allow anaya and uzi to quit anything i think they are just gonna have to push through and they can hate me for the moment and be mad about it 
and cry their way through it, but they will finish. That's how I'm going to honor my kids. I'm going to make sure they stick to their word. They're going to finish their seasons. They're going to commit to something and they're going to get it done. They're going to have to do it at least one season to know that they can say no eventually. This season is going to be hard, but I'm very proud of him. He did exceptionally well at basketball. He's done great at boxing. This is probably one of my favorite seasons in fatherhood because the lessons I'm teaching now are really to prepare them for adulthood, right? Hey, don't quit. When you fall down, get back up. Don't worry about people laughing at you. They're going to laugh anyway. Here's how you control your flesh. Here's how you control your eyes. Like I'm having these conversations and these are the deep conversations that we're having behind the scenes. And so, man, I'm very proud of Uriah, but I know he's going to hate me for making him finish boxing because that is something that I feel like is going to help him with his cardiovascular strength. It's also going to help him with his speed, his footwork. It's, it's just dope. Thank you guys so much for watching Protect Your Life, Keep Your Network Popping. If you're fortunate enough to be doing life with someone else, make sure you watch this video with them. And if they're not around, share it with them. Also, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. My wife and I have a podcast called How Married Are You? For those of you that are thinking about getting in a relationship at some point in your life, this podcast is for you. Don't sleep on it. Here's a little snippet of some of the ways uh, we banter back and forth. All right, y'all. Those nachos, those nachos will not show. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no, that is where he gets it from. That is where he gets it from, man. That is <laughs> gross, man.